Now, here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi, everybody. It's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, starting here in late December, the USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service will measure sheep and goat inventories as well as wool and mohair production through a nationwide survey. Operators surveyed will be asked to provide important information about their sheep and goat inventories as well as counts of lambs and kids born this year and production and prices received for their wool and mohair. Of course, accurate data on sheep and goat inventory and production is a significant decision-making tool for USDA and the industry to be more responsive to domestic and international markets as well as consumer needs. And to make it as easy as possible for producers to participate in the survey, NAS offers the option of responding either by online, by telephone, or by mail. And it will publish the survey's results on January 31st in its Sheep and Goats report. In some other news today, it looks like the new year will usher in a new era of renewable energy thanks to a push by National Farmers Union to have the EPA designate canola oil as an advanced biofuel under the Renewable Fuel Standard. And Montana farmers will use the opportunity now to also grow canola for renewable diesel markets. Montana Farmers Union has strongly advocated increasing biofuels and getting canola as an approved feedstock for renewable diesel, including a policy passed at their recent state convention. In fact, Calumet Refinery in Great Falls is in the process of converting part of its capacity to renewable diesel as we speak. And Calumet will need 1 million acres, it says, of canola to help supply their feedstock needs. Now the EPA will conduct its rulemaking in January of next year. Stay with us. We'll have more Ag News right after this. 